What is up guys, this week I want to talk about a really interesting update to Google Shared Drives. So let's get into it. A couple of weeks ago, Google announced that Shared Drives would soon have the ability to have an individual folder within that drive shared with someone outside of the group of users that could traditionally see the shared drive. So let's just take a step back for a moment because this is a bit of a complex scenario um, or, or situation. So for those of you that aren't aware of what shared drives are, shared drives are a, a they used to be called team drives and they're a separate section within your, your Google Drive uh, account that is primarily used by businesses um, and allows you to set up a shared drive with your company um, and you could have one for marketing or finance and one of the challenges that um, people have had or one of the limitations uh, that have been in the system up until now is that a shared drive could only um, give access to an individual user to all of the files so you, you had no granular permission sharing at all which meant if you wanted to add someone to your shared drive, you would have to give them access to everything. Now, in most cases in a company, this was fine. The marketing team would set up a shared drive, the finance team would set up a shared drive, the sales team, and so on and so forth. But what happens when someone in the marketing department needs access to a file that the finance department have, and the finance department don't want to or can't share their entire drive with that team or with that individual member? So what do they do? They could take a copy of that file and they could move it out. They could share that individual file with the user, but the, but the um, person in the marketing team wouldn't see the folder structure and they, would, they wouldn't have the ability to sort of manage it in the same way, you know, in a nice sort of uh, fo folder hierarchy. Um, they can, in, in their sort of my drive, add it to their my drive because it's been an individual file shared with them. But again, you're trying to get people to move away from my drive and more into the shared drive environment. So, this, this, this was an issue for a lot of people and it was also an issue when you work with external parties. So we would work with external contractors and external companies and clients all of the time. That's one of the key benefits of a tool like Google. But if you are using shared drives, again, you have the challenge that you can only give someone the minimum of view access to everything in your shared drive, which for a lot of people doesn't really work. So now with the granular permissions, it, it isn't fully launched, it's only a beta at the moment. But with the granular permissions, you will be able to add someone to an individual folder within a shared drive, which is absolutely brilliant. And I think it's a feature that's been missing within shared drives or team drives, as they used to be called, um, for those of you who, who remember that. Um, and I think with this feature, it will allow companies to have a almost single shared drive for, for the company, for most of the company, and then give individual permissions to different teams depending on what they require. Now, one thing to note on this is that you can only increase the person's permissions. So um, within a shared drive, you can't, for example, um, within a particular folder, if, if someone, uh, if, if someone is, is added to a shared drive and they can view everything, you can't remove them from a single folder within the shared drive. You can only increase the permissions, which I think makes sense. Um, so, for example, if, if someone had view access to all of the files and folders in a shared drive, you could make them a commenter on one folder within the shared drive or give them edit access to one folder within the shared drive. And again, for me, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, who, who can make changes on a, on a shared drive um, folder permissions? Again, it's only a manager. So they're, they're keeping this rather restricted at the moment, but I think it's a new feature. So I think that, again, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. There's a blog post update on this that you can take a look at. And there, there's also the expression of interest form if you'd like to sign up for the beta for your organization. Now do bear in mind, it's for your entire domain. Uh, some companies maybe will have a test domain for IT if you want to um, just test this, this particular feature out. Also, I've noted in here that they say that they will start to enforce the manager requirement um, for the folder level permissions uh, on, um, for people who join the beta and then for all G Suite users on the 1st of September. So that makes me think that that's when they're thinking of ending the beta program, but we don't know for sure. Obviously that could be pushed back. 
So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. I'd be really interested to know what people think of this particular feature. Do you think that it will change how you use shared drives within your organization? Are you using shared drives at the moment? And would this make you consider using them? Perhaps the current setup um, was holding you back. And I think that's happened for a lot of companies. So I think this is an excellent update and we're excited to see uh, the actual feature uh, live in the beta when hopefully we, we get into it uh, ourselves, but also seeing it out in the wild, hopefully fairly soon um, in September of this year. That's it for me, guys. I will chat to you next week.